Hey so friends, so fam, it's Marie and welcome into another reading for my Aquarius family. How are you? I hope you are doing well and staying safe. Please do check your sun, moon, rising and Venus signs if you would like more clarification. Remember the energies can be reversed and keep in mind that this is a general reading so it may or may not resonate for you. But if it does, that is wonderful. All right. The overall love energy for you, we have a lot of cards fell out, but we have lust. This relationship is more of a fling than a lasting relationship. Enjoy the fun you're having, but true love will be coming soon. So get ready. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Release your ex. It's time to let go of your past to cleanse your aura and your energy of your ex in order to move forward into happier relationships. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Interference. An external party is intruding on this relationship. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Honest communication. You need to honestly discuss your feelings with each other. New love. A new person has stirred romantic feelings within you. Soulmate. Yes, this person is your soulmate. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. And leap of faith. Lastly, it's safe to make the move you're considering. So I do feel like there is this need to release someone from your past or someone who you're having like a fling with that things just didn't really move into anything too serious with this person. I am seeing new love coming in for you. Being able to flirt. It's going to be a soulmate connection. But I do feel like if that person does come into your life and you're still holding on to maybe like an ex or a fling, that it's kind of going to ruin the relationship that you have with this new person or ruin the longevity that it could have with this new person if you're still hanging on to the past. So if there are honest feelings that you need to express to somebody, I would absolutely do it. And I do feel like somebody is actually coming towards you to honestly express feelings for you as well. All right, so let's dive a little bit deeper into this. Looking into your person, we have the page of pentacles, earth energy. See, with this card alone, I feel like there is somebody who might have just been left like in the friend zone or might have friend zoned you even like you guys kind of just stayed friends with benefits or just friends who just had a good time whatever you want to call it but i do feel like it was somebody who like wasn't enough to move the relationship forward with you wasn't enough to like be in a committed relationship with you and i feel like this is somebody that as much as you or even this person tried to move the relationship forward neither one of you were really getting what you wanted out of it. Like, I don't feel like this is somebody who was even able to give you what you wanted. And I don't think that even if they did have feelings for you, because I do feel like they, they might have had feelings for you, they were still holding back from you. They were holding their feelings back. They were holding their commitment and, and true devotion back. And it felt like things were just moving at such a slow pace with this person. And that, you know, you just kept giving to it, hoping that it would like produce something and it never really did. And I feel like this connection was just kept at like a standstill. I feel like, to be honest with you, that this person, if you were the one kind of like asking this person for more or maybe even wanting more because at the end of the day, you did want a long-term relationship, I feel like it might have caused this person a lot of like restlessness and like, internal chaos because as much as they have feelings for you they might not have been able to actually give you what you needed or what you wanted like it just wasn't within them like they didn't have it in them like it wasn't about you it was about them and they honestly could not give you what you needed no matter how much you asked no matter what you did no matter who you were like you had a lot of worth and a lot of value but at the end of the day this person genuinely could not give you what you what you needed Okay, I am seeing new love coming in for you after this release of this ex-partner or this fling. Queen of Cups energy, emotional vulnerability could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have Gemini energy and um, also fire energy with the Six of Wands. So I am seeing a true 
loving relationship here. Um, truly. And I love it. I, I, I really do love it. I think this person is going to make you feel like you can really open up and be completely yourself because I feel like in past relationships, you might have had to hide your feelings because you were afraid of scaring somebody off. I feel like this person isn't going to give off that energy at all. Like they're going to come in and meet you on your high horse and celebrate you and value you and really, really love you. Like it is going to be a soulmate connection. Like the Oracle card said, soulmate connection, feel free to extend your flirtation, to extend your love, to extend your heart because I feel like this person is definitely going to match you. They're going to want it. They're going to want to know about your feelings. They're going to want to know about your emotions and who you are and how you came to be. And I love that. I really, really love that. Okay, so just know that with this new person comes, if, if they're already in your life, wonderful. If they're not, um, keep an eye out because they're coming and enjoy the fling while it while it lasts but this new person is coming in to show you what you actually deserve and give you what you actually deserve so just know that it is safe when this new person comes in to really make your move on on love when it comes to you i do see that you're really taking your time i feel like you are letting something go and it might be this past person like you're in the state of just being with yourself taking time to reflect, feeling the emotions that you are feeling. And it probably is the fact that you gave your energy to something that didn't really give you much in return. And so you're mourning the loss of it. You're letting it go. You're realizing like, okay, this, this, is, this isn't what I thought it would be. Okay. I feel like you're meditating a lot, just trying to find clarity, but also closure within yourself so you can close out this chapter fully and kind of start a new one. If you are going through a lot right now, I do want to say, please lean on your friends. Please, please, please lean on your friends. Um, I love how the card said, let your friends help you if you are struggling with anything, depression, anxiety, you know, if you need a hug, like reach out to your friends, because I do see that you are interested in like working hard for a relationship, for love. And I do see it coming. Like the universe is like, it's coming, but you gotta let some stuff go before it gets here. And that past person, as much as they did have feelings for you, like it just wasn't enough. I don't feel like it was like genuine love. I do feel like it was lust. And that no matter what you did or what you said, like they just couldn't turn their own feelings into love for you. And it had nothing to do with you. But you do have somebody new coming in and it's a soulmate energy and they're going to meet you on your level where you are. They're going to meet you and, and support your heart and love your heart and love you as a beautiful soul. All right. Most likely outcome is union four of wands. Okay. Could be with a fire sign. Four of wands. I do see union coming in for you. And I honestly want to say if don't give in to anything from your past. Okay. It's just better to just not even mess with it. Because it's just going to keep you kind of chained there. It's going to keep you in that cycle of continuing to feed it. And in reality, you kind of need to break away from it. So anything from the past, I wouldn't necessarily, I just wouldn't give to. Because you do have union coming. And if new love is what you want, please focus your energy on what you want. Okay? I do want to say, if anybody does have Capricorn placements in their chart... This reading is resonating a lot with the Capricorn read, so feel free to go and check that one out if you do have placements in your chart. But I am seeing that union is coming for you. Okay, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Most likely outcome is security, fulfillment, devotion, and loyalty coming your way. Okay, don't give in to temptation. Don't give in to temptation. If you want to enjoy it for a little bit, enjoy it. But just be ready to release it when the time comes. Otherwise, you will miss out on new love. Okay, because I do see that there is going to be a little bit of a, like two people, like a choice between two people. We have the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. So it's kind of like choosing between two people. And you're going to kind of have to walk away from someone. You're going to have to pick and choose from someone who who do you want to, 
who do you want to manifest? What reality do you want to actually exist within, right? And one of them is, is a very secure, loving, and devoted energy. And the other one is very closed off. And it has nothing to do with you, but it is the truth, okay? So just understand that, like, you, you decide, you know, where you want to go, how you want to move forward. Someone is coming. Communication is coming. Love is coming. But there is going to be an ending before that major change, okay before that sun for that sun energy love it pure love pure love energy all right let's see what this person would like to say to you we're going to start with the past person all right you've been in my dreams i look at your picture often even though i don't show it i am sorry for how things went between us yeah i feel like they really did try their hardest like i feel i feel like they did have feelings, but it was like, the, it wasn't about you. It was, it was really about them and like what they were capable of giving you. There are still so many things unsaid between us. I want to tell you how I feel, but I can't. I feel safer in the silence. I'm sorry I hurt you. Your words linger in my mind. No, the grass wasn't greener on the other side. I do want to say that because I saw that. If you had someone who kind of like came in as a friend and was like, it was like a fling and you thought it was going to go somewhere, but then they left you for someone else. Just know like the grass wasn't greener on the other side. And this person wasn't able to give you something. They weren't able to give the other person something. This is something going on within this person. Okay. I'm still trying to find myself. Please don't take what happened personally. It's not you. It's me. Yeah. I feel that. I need more time to figure things out. You are never far from my mind though. And I just want you to be happy. But we both know I'm not the one and we need to let each other go. All right, let's do the new person now. I was reminded of your scent recently. You're an angel. Oh, I love that. Your intensity frightens and allures me at the same time. And I feel a special bond with you that I've never felt before. If you're with this new person now or if they're in your life, they do feel a, a bond with you that they've never felt before because this is a soul connection. This is soulmate energy. If this is somebody who you're not with right now, know that they are going to feel a bond that they've never felt before. And they're really going to want to spend a lot of time with you and get to know you. And they're going to be very, very drawn to you like your energy and your aura okay i do see new love coming mourn whatever needs to be mourned let go of what needs to be let go so that you can manifest a beautiful loving romantic relationship all right that's all i have for my aquarius family if you would like to book a personal reading with me that information is down below as well as ways for you to support the channel all right. Thank you so, so much for watching. I love you. Stay safe, balanced, and healthy. And as always, I will see you in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.